G'day and welcome back for another Space Engineers tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Build Planner. This thing has a few different ways you can use it, I'm going to try and cover as many of them as possible. If we open up the G menu you can see down here in the bottom right of the screen there is the Build Planner. This is a queue of blocks that you can use to collect items from an inventory or to queue up items to be produced by your assembler. So let's have a look at some ways you can use it. If we mouse over this little plus symbol here, you'll see that we can click this to add the selected block variant or drag and drop the block here. You can also middle mouse button on a block to quickly add it to the build planner. So that is either literally clicking this, which is going to add the light armor block, large grid variant, and currently this is the one that's selected. If I wanted to select something different for that plus symbol to work, I can say left click on the cockpit, go to the small grid version and click plus and that'll add it. Or I could go to our rounded heavy armor and I could drag the heavy armor inverted corner down there. Or I could go to the armory and I could middle mouse on the armory lockers and you can see that those specific blocks have been added each time. If you've ever got the wrong size of block or the wrong block in your queue, you can right click on it to remove it and then you can add it back in by selecting the block size, the block type and then middle mouse or dragging it or clicking the plus symbol. There are other ways to get blocks added to this build planet queue. If I have some partially constructed blocks on the ground, I can get up my welder and I can right click on them to add their components to the build planner. If I now press G, you'll see that I've got three light armor blocks added here. And you'll also notice that it only says 24 steel plate, yet the light armor block, as you can see from this part just above it, requires 25. That's because there's already one in this partially constructed block. If I were to say weld this up a bit where we're now just missing two and right click again you'll see that this one says 24, this one says 24, this one says 24 and this one says just two. That's because when you right click with the welder it adds the missing components to the build planner queue and only the missing components. So this is going to save you from those times where you would walk over to something, go, oh, I know I need some motors, I need some computers, I need some steel plate, I need some girders. And then you get back to the cargo system and be like, all right, so I know I needed, what did I need again? Ah, oh, I think I needed motors and maybe interior plates. And you go back over and you realize you didn't need the interior plates. You got half as many motors as you needed. So this is a nice way of fixing that. And that brings me on to actually using the build planner. Say, for example, we want to build a very, very basic rudimentary starter base. A rudimentary starter base is going to need a power supply. So let's middle mouse on our wind turbine. It's also going to need a basic assembler. So let's middle mouse on that. And we'll probably need some blocks to place down so that we can lift that turbine up a little bit, as well as have a platform on which to place our basic assembler. With those in our build queue, we can walk over to a cargo access port and press F. You'll see this button here, which adds components from the build planner to our production queue. If we have a look at our production queue, you can see it is empty. If I go back to my inventory tab and click that button, you'll now see that all of these components have been added. That does not remove the blocks from our build planner queue. So I can come back in here and I can press that again and it'll put them into the queue. If I keep pressing that, it'll add it over and over again. So to show that a bit more clearly, let's clear these items out and let's go for a single light armor block. So this light armor block requires a single steel plate. So right now we have no steel plates. And if I shift middle mouse, one will have been produced. If I control shift middle mouse, we'll get another 10. And if I control shift middle mouse a whole bunch of times, it's going to queue up a whole bunch of steel plates, 10 for every time I clicked that interface. 
You can also control click on this button in your inventory screen and that will add 10 times the components in your build planner to the production queue. So that's all nice and handy. We can get stuff to the production queue without having to interact directly with the assembler, which saves a fair bit of time. And also we're able to interact with these cargo ports without having to go into the inventory system. Again, quite handy. There is another method, but I'm going to cover it later in its own little segment, which is where we interact with these cargo ports using blocks. So let's go back to our build planner, clear it out, and we'll go back and order up our parts that we had before for our basic base. So that's a light armor block, a wind turbine, and a basic assembler. We'll shift middle mouse on that, and we'll get all of those components produced. So now what? Now, how am I going to access that and get it into my personal inventory? Well, that's where this button comes in, which withdraws components for the build planner. It's going to tell me that it can't withdraw any of the stuff that I've got, even though I know some of it's there. The reason it can't do that is because right now, this is the only inventory it has access to. We need to click show connected inventories, then click this button and it's gonna try and withdraw everything. Some of it hasn't been manufactured, but you can see now, I've got a whole lot more stuff in my personal inventory now. That's because it was able to access the stuff that is being built by the assembler. So I can click that again, it's gonna grab some more. There's still more yet to be made. Our production queue is now finished. So we should be able to hit that little button and withdraw everything for our build planner. And you can see, we got everything, we didn't get any warning. Now we could wander over this way and we should be able to build everything that we asked to build. So we'll get a little bit of a tower, pop our wind turbine on top, weld it up, get our basic assembler, weld it up. And there we go. We've got our turbine and our basic assembler. And that was all done with the build planner in terms of getting the materials we needed exactly right. So having just ground that down, I've now got a whole bunch of components in my inventory. There are a couple of ways I can get that out. I can open up this cargo container and I can click this button, which will deposit everything. Or as you can see, there's a shortcut for that, which is Alt middle mouse. And now everything is in this cargo container and I've kept my tools on my person. You will keep your tools, you will keep your ammunition, your personal ammunition, not turret ammunition, Energy. and you will keep bottles on your person when using that shortcut. Something important to note about the way this dump everything command works is that if we have a look here, I've got a power kit and a med kit on my person. These are things I want to keep on my person. However, if I use the alt middle mouse button shortcut, I will have dropped both of those into this base's inventory. So keep that in mind if you're using that shortcut and you're wondering where on earth your power kits and your med kits ended up. So what are some other ways to take advantage of the build planner? Right now, my inventory is quite full and maybe it's full of things that I want to be carrying and I don't have anywhere to put them. So when I go up to this cargo port and I middle mouse to get the stuff from my build planner, it's only going to get some of the items. So I've got six steel plates. I can go over to this basic assembler. I can left click. I can then come back here, middle mouse. It will keep collecting the remaining components. You can see the, I'm getting six steel plate each time and the number remaining number of remaining components is going down. Obviously this is an extreme example, but there are situations where you won't be able to carry everything for a particular part. Say, for example, if you're building a large atmospheric thruster by hand or a refinery by hand, blocks like that that require a lot of components, you may need to make a couple of runs and it will remember where you're up to. And you'll be able to see that because the amount of components in the build planner will change here. The next thing I want to look at is how the build planner functions when we interact with a cargo access port with a block in hand. So right now I've got the large variant of the light armor slope in hand. This thing requires 13 steel plates to build. If we look at this inventory, you'll see that there are no steel plates in here. So when I middle mouse click on this access port, it will add this block to my build planner. This is going to allow me to pick up the items I need for this block from whichever cargo access port I like. So if I, for example, went over to this base, which has the plates, 
and grab them, it'll say all components successfully withdrawn. However, what can be a bit confusing is it doesn't always behave that way. So again, build planner is empty. Let's add, and it's gonna add that block to my hotbar. Now, if I also want to add a basic assembler, you might think that I could do the same thing. Unfortunately, once you've got something in the build planner queue, no matter what is in your hand when you attempt to access a conveyor port and use middle mouse on it, you will try and grab the components from your build planner queue. You will not add extra items. As you can see, when I middle mouse click here, it's still trying to get the 13 steel plates from my light armor slope, and it is not adding the assembler to my build planner queue. Right now, you might be thinking that this is all stuff that's only going to work from your suit. And yes, that's true for any of the shortcuts for accessing stuff directly through inventory access ports. However, it's not true for all functions of the build planner. What I've done is I've added a wind turbine, basic assembler and light armor block to my build planner. And we're going to put those components in this rover so that we can take them to another site and start a little base. And the way we're going to do that is by pressing I we're going to click up here to show only the inventories of the current ship. Because I'm in the cockpit of this ship, it's only going to show the stuff for this ship, which is perfect. Then on the right hand side here, we should have access to this small cargo container. Now to make this work reliably, what I've found you need to do is remove from visibility the stuff that's on this left hand side. So if we were to leave it on, and I click withdraw, it's going to say it can't withdraw interior plates and computers, despite the fact that we can see them right here. So if I then type up here and go small, and we only get the small cargo container, I can then click that button again, and everything will be transferred, and it all works. I can then disconnect from the base, take my handbrake off, and away I go. And the final thing I want to show you guys with the build planner is if you click F1. And then you go down to advanced controls and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see that build planner is here. And this is another nice place in case you're having trouble remembering the shortcuts. For someone who's been playing for a while, the way that I tend to use the build planner is not by adding stuff to my list through the G menu. It's really mostly by right clicking on an item I want to collect the parts for, going over to the cargo, alt middle mousing to drop what I don't need and then using middle mouse to grab what I need for that block. That way I don't need to interact with any inventories directly and I can grab what I need. Hopefully that was useful for you guys. If you've got any tips of your own about the build planner that you'd like to share, please let me know in the comments. I'm hopefully going to be doing some tutorials on the economy update very soon. So there's all that and plenty more to come and I will see you then.